front nine better than the back, Jerry, so far this week. Hmm. It's, still be, it's definitely going to be her turn. That's going to be for par. Mm -mm. Definitely, you know, a few little nerves, Jerry. I would, I would suggest there was a lot of attention around her. Yeah, great drive. Yeah, I'll say, no back down <laughs> in that swing, Karen. Like you said, not one bit. I mean, she, ha her idol is Roy McIlroy. That's who she wanted to play like. <laughs> Should come back. Oh yeah. Might come back all the way into the hole. Really good shot. Yeah, tap in birdie after the three putt always has to feel good. There we go. By the way, the aircraft. It's uh, a Bell Boeing V22, but they call it the Osprey. Sasso with the driver doesn't like it. No, the line took off pretty good though, but it must have just been this hit. She had one of those late in the round yesterday too, where it didn't look like it came the way, the way she wanted to. And that one just doesn't quite have the pace, but it's going to be a par for Sasso. She remains even for the day through the first three holes, starting with a two-shot lead over Lydia Ko. Currently a one-shot lead. Visual from the tee as the previous hole. Yeah. Ah, she's going to like that one. Something to watch today. Twice in the last two majors she's played. She's been in the top 12 going into the weekend. She shot 77 in the third round of both the U.S. Women's Open. There's another shot gone. It's a, it's a horror start, really, for Yuka Sasa. She's had three bogeys in the first five holes now. A huge stage for the 19-year-old. She's not a member of the LPGA Tour. She's here on a sponsor invite. She had asked the tournament if she could have an invite, and having seen the way that she's played in Japan. I think she has to make birdie here. Hit the hole. Ah, oh, so near. All in all, yeah, it's a great birdie opportunity, the seventh. This is just booming down there. Oh, big bounce, too. And the key is to be able to fly it onto the green. Downhill a little bit, turning right a fair bit, but back into the wind. She needs to make something. She really hasn't even hit the hole yet today. We all expect her to come back. She seems to be very patient with it, like she's on the process. in which the scoring average is 68.5. It's a driver. This is aggressive. <laughs> An aggressive line as well. Left edge of the fairway from the tee should fly the corner. Yeah, easily did. That's what she tried to do. And she did it well, Jerry. Mm, yes. Nearly perfectly. That was good. Yeah. Saw how that stayed back nicely. Makes you feel comfortable taking the water out of play. Yeah. And she's swinging nice yeah. at it. 
That's going to run out of fairway, though. Well, maybe it'll run to the next one. He's got potential. Maybe. Oh, how about a fairway hit <laughs> at the 10th? Went with the lob wedge looking good in the air, if it's not too much. Never did. No, and they, that little right shoulder moved across it a little bit too, Jerry. So put a little bit of maybe more of a little cut stroke on it. Wind from the left a little hurt. This is left of the ideal line. She needs a kick. And got a couple of good kicks there. It's going to be fine. Mm. Oh, that's going to be great. Good up and down. Needed that. Yeah, that was important. Well, she tried to hit the big high fade. It doesn't look bad at all. Just left of the hole. Just a little. Goodness. That was a good stroke, Jerry. I mean, she head was down. She was committed to the line. I'm not in driver for the most part, but you can't here. Not with her power. That one was smacked. Very good line right down the middle. May get Lydia by a half a yard. Sasso third at 14. Ideal line, plenty of green, very flat green. Just check once quickly. There you go. And it could have been a nightmare of a day for her, but she is going to give herself a chance heading into tomorrow, most likely. Good drive. Yeah, very good. Right at the cart Lydia was aiming at. Nice little soft draw there, middle of the fairway. Thank you very much. Yeah, choking with the club that she hit. Sasso second. This also right at it. Oh, too much. It'll come back. Okay. There you go. Uh, oh, it just turned too much. Jumbo Ozaki, by the way, 74 years of age now. He won 94 times on the Japanese men's tour. 94. Also a six iron, but a real aggressive swing. This one left of the hole that looks like a lot of club. Yeah, not bad at all there. It's a good flowing stroke. Did she? Oh. Ooh. Has really big dreams, Yuka. She wants to be the world number one. That one got out of eyesight in a hurry. Yeah, right down the middle. Just depends on the bounce. You pitch it into one of those upslopes on the mogul and it doesn't go as far as you would expect. Might be too much club if she does, though. But you've got to take that front edge out of play from here. So she really went after it. And it sits down softly. It's a wonderful shot from Yuka Sasso. Brooke Henderson went on to win it. Sasso for Eagle. He's playing that a good foot and a half out. Looks and, good. Yeah, well, that's about the tenth time today that it just didn't have enough speed. It's going to be a birdie, though, and uh, Yuka Sasso now under par for the day. And you think about the start that she had to put all those bogeys over the first eight holes. She's done well to battle back. Oh, <laughs> that's wow. just so good. Well, you see, she's playing that back a little bit. She's on the upslope still. She's opening that club face and really sending that club through the ball. Sasso for par. Great up and down. Really, really good up and down there. And a great battle back. 